Welcome to Accessory to Decor with LaTanya. I am LaTanya and welcome to my 2024 Halloween Home Decor Tour Part 2. If you haven't seen Part 1, be sure to check it out when you're done viewing this one. Grab yourself a spooky beverage and a spooky snack. Sit back, relax, and enjoy. In this video, we will tour the bedroom, the chill room, and the upstairs bathroom. I'm going to try not to do too many voiceovers during this video because my allergies are out of control. I feel all stopped up. Here we have the ghoulish garden. Skeletons, skulls, frogs, pumpkins, mushrooms, butterflies, spiders, and plants. I know you're probably wondering how can you have a ghoulish garden and no Venus flytrap? Well, I do have Venus flytraps, but they have a lot of red in them. And I did not want red in this vignette. And I guess I could have gotten some and spray painted them. And I still might do that. But we have eyeballs and moths and death moths. Y'all know I love to change things around, so I always have an update. I added these lanterns here. So the jack-o'-lanterns here on the bedside table. The jack-o'-lantern pillow and gourd pillow and mushroom pillow here on the bed tie in to the ghoulish garden on the dresser. update here I added these beautiful ghosts I just think they are so so cute to this ghoulish garden to make it haunted I just love the way this turned out decided to leave our wedding picture here I do Till death do us part, or is it for eternity? <laughs> now we are in the room that we call the chill room. <clears throat> Dead at the disco is the theme here. In this tree, we have spiders, bats, disco balls, and this disco head skeleton, Sonny Bono. Here, I put these disco ball spiders on the napkins as a napkin holder on top of the clear plate. And I love doing these garlands. I think it brings drama to the space.
And here's Sunny Bono's mom, Bona Summer, queen of disco, holding her plush disco ball pillow. And the bubbling disco ball cauldron. Wait a minute, I think I saw some ghosts in there. Now I will show you my haul that I picked up for the goodie jars. Some popcorn, pretzels, and some candy. We love Reese's, all of us except for my younger son does not like peanut butter. But I always like to pick up these jack-o'-lantern and little ghost Reese's. And I got this one because Target had their candy buy one, get one half. And I picked up some with Kit Kats for my younger son because that's his favorite. These cookies and cream Hershey's are cute. They're like vampire fangs. So now we have the goodie jars filled up with goodies and I put some disco ornaments in the top one. And over here where we hang our coats and jackets and keys and things, umbrellas, I decided to put some skeleton keys and a lock here and a lantern and a little cape. Just a little whimsy and something fun. Okay, so I just put a refill in the Bath & Body Works plug-in. I thought the silvery pumpkin would look good in the Dead at the Disco Room. And the fragrance is leaves. Now for nighttime, we will start by lighting a candle. And then we will plug in the tree and I'll show everything lit up. Maybe I should add some lights to the garland.
update, new pumpkin added. I thought it had a lot of character. It's like cement with crushed glass all over it. You've seen him in my haul. I think this little ghost is so cool. Walmart, $5. These buttons are kind of hard to get to. Well, you saw the other ghost lit up, so. You guys, part three will be coming up soon. So make sure you stay tuned for it. And I want to thank all of my new subscribers. I thank you so much from the bottom of my heart. My older son was watching Scooby-Doo. Almost forgot. The moon lights up. Now we are in the upstairs bathroom. Now, if you've seen my videos last year or the Halloween decor marathon that I put up um, a couple of weeks ago, then this will look familiar to you. Now, I liked this so much last year that I wanted to do it again, but I do have some new pieces in like this soap pump and this pumpkin guy here. Now what's different over here is the guy sitting on the tombstone. Like I thought he would go well over here with the cemetery situation because the last time I had the skeleton holding the jack-o'-lantern over in this area. And you'll see him again in a minute. This guy here is new. I think this is so funny. The skeleton is holding his head while his head is reading the book on his neck. I just thought that was funny. Let me turn this jack o' lantern around. I turn them when they're um, some of the jack o' lanterns to make them just plain pumpkins. Here's the guy right here holding the pumpkin. I turn them around for fall and Thanksgiving and then turn their jack-o'-lantern jack face around for Halloween. Just a little tip there, mixing the old with the new. And I have the orange Bath & Body Works plug-in back there, orange pumpkin. Now updates in my witching kitchen, the witch's lair. Now you saw she had many shoes, but I had to show you these. Even witches want red bottoms. <laughs> I saw these in the store and had to pick them up to go in the potion and apothecary section. And this little jar here, I apologize for the shadows and lighting. Now, if you haven't seen my part one, which is my witch's lair, 
this part then be sure to check it out when you're done here I want to thank you for watching if you like this video I would appreciate a thumbs up and share it with your friends comment down below and let me know what your favorite part of this video was and if you haven't yet subscribed I hope you'll consider doing so stay tuned for part three bye bye